Hey guys, welcome back. This is Sumit Kumar, and what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to tell you something about Galois theory. It's really important in uh, exam prospectus also. And even though if you wanted to learn mathematics, then these kind of sections are very very important, right? To understand group theory and more precisely to understand the field theory and what is the connection between the field theory and group theory that overall relation is given by Galois theory. So Galois was the first mathematician, it was Galois, he was the first mathematician who has given this relationship between these two objects that's called. In one hand you have field theory, in another hand you have group theory. So what is the relation between them? So for example if I give you a field, a certain extension of a basic field and I'm asking how many subfields are there? Can you give the explicit description about the subfields? So what Galois has done, what the Galois theory is doing actually is they are considering their subgroups, certain groups, they are coming to the groups and they are looking for their subgroups. How many subgroups for a certain group have? According to that you can decide that extension has how many subfields. So it's really interesting. It's really really interesting. And it will also motivate you to do good amount of research in this like area if you are interested in number theory. It's a very very good area and very vast object. Alright. So I'll try my best to give you this flavor in uh, what should I say in easy way so that you will get motivated and at the end you will learn too much about this Galva theory. Okay. So let's start what this subject is actually at all. Right. So Galva theory. Let me give you something. So let me start with some motivation, right? So if if I give you this field, right? So if I give you this field, can you tell me this is an extension of a field Q, right? This is an extension of a field Q. First of all, you should, you should also know what do you mean by extension of a field, right? <coughs> extension of a field means this is an extension of this one. This this is a so first of all field, and Q is sitting inside here as a subfield. Right? Then certainly that is called a field extension. Fine. If this is here, I am asking how many subfields are there? How many subfields are there of this field which contain Q? Right? So this type of answer. Fine. Here it looks very easy. But if I keep increasing it, if I keep increasing it, and I am asking how many subfields are there? This actually looks fine, okay, fine. But if I ask this question, let me ask this question. How many subfields of this field can have, right? Let's say root 2 and this is omega. Where omega 3 is 1 and omega is not equal to 1. I'm asking, how many subfields of this field can have, right? So this is again an extension of this field. I am asking how many subfields of this field are there over this. So it's a natural question, you know. It's a, it's like, a, like 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 what should I say? You have a group, you have identity subgroup, and they are asking how many subgroups are there of G. So this kind of flavor we have seen in group theory. The similar kind of questions we are asking in field theory. So. In group theory, we are very much comfortable, right? Uh, we have various results. We have Silo's theorem, right? That can describe everything. That will give you everything about the groups. Okay, fine. These are the properties of that group according to the Silo's, right? So, same thing do we have in field theory? If I'm given certain field, uh, then let's say something E, which is an extension of the base field F. How many subfields are there? Do I have some suitable way to find the subfields and all? So that description has been given by Galois, right? So these are the certain example I'm asking. If this is a field over this, can you say something? How many subfields are there? Fine, it looks trivial. If you know the field theory, then you can easily answer it. But if someone who knows only field, and I'm asking how many subfields are there, it's not so easy for them. It's really not easy for them. So how one should answer these kind of questions? How one should approach this kind of question? How one should think like this kind of questions? 
That's the reasoning is given by Galois. That's the reasoning is given by Galois. So let me write that exactly. Okay. So what is Galois is done has done is amazing. In one hand you have group theory, right? In one hand here you have group theory. On another hand you have field theory. ठीक है इधर आपके पास field वाली theory है इधर group वाली theory. What Galois has done? Galois has done a bridge. So Galois theory. Galois has made a bridge between these two objects. Fine. You are working over the field. Okay. Come back here. Do the work here, and then go back there. You have a certain group. Take it something. Go to the field. Do the work, and come back. So it's amazing work. It's amazing work, right? So that is the actually all about Galois. Field. If you have a question related to field, make it that question into groups. Work in a group. You have many theorems in a group. Ask that same question in group theory. Get the result. Take this bridge. Go back there. That's at all about the Galois theory. If I ask in basic term, in literal term, that is all about Galois theory, right? But in long run, there are more. There are more. For example, if you are working on algebraic number theory. Then you have number fields, you have local fields, you have various objects. There are so messy objects here, but really interesting. There are certain questions in something you can solve via field theory by using this Galois correspondence, right? So this is somehow called Galois correspondence. So that's what we are going to study in this video, in the series of this video. Okay? I'll I'll upload more videos on good uh, Galois theory also in long run so that. You will get more interesting facts about the Galois theory. Okay, so this is at all at basic level Galois does. Okay, question related to field transform to the groups. Okay, so एक दो examples देखते हैं first कि what do you mean by certain things are not right? So consider, so if this is an extension, right? If suppose E is an extension of F, E is an extension of F. If this is an extension. Of the field F. What do we mean by this? What do we mean by this? An extension of the field F. An extension of the field F means what? You can think. This means first of all, E is a field, and F is a subfield. This is E. Clear? So, extension of the field means you can. Think F sitting inside E. E is a huge object, and F is sitting inside there as it is as a subfield. So operations are same. Whatever operation in E you have, the same operation is going to be there in F, and certain properties are satisfying all that. You will look at the definition of subfield, you will get that as clear. So this is the definition. Then certain that field is called an extension over F. Okay? It's not unique. There are various extension of of a given field. You have many extension. This is one of the extension. So this is an extension. Now I am. So this is fine. This is one object. So what I have to do with it? Now I look like we are working over groups. Then our tools is to find homomorphisms. If you are working over a certain groups, special groups, two groups, then you are looking for an isomorphism. Same algebraic a structure I have to apply here. You have two fields. I have to apply certain mapping between them so that they will give some nice results. So that right, so that I can say more about the field, so that I can tell more about the structure of the field. ठीक है? So इस चीज को study भी करना है। तो यहाँ पे क्या क्या definition? मैं बताता हूँ फिर से। So let me write this. What do we mean by this? Odd of us. ठीक है? Odd of us. What What do we mean by this? So this is. So this is the collection of all. So let me write. This is the collection of all. Collection of all automorphisms. Okay, from E to itself, huh? And fixes F. Fixes F. What do you mean by this? That is, I E phi belongs to odd of F. Okay, if if phi is a mapping from E to E. 
So this is an automorphism, this is a field automorphism. Field automorphisms. And phi of x is equal to identity on f. So if you give me any element of f, if, if you give me any element from that field f, if I look at the image, if it's going to be identity on that, then we say f belongs to odd in this. So this is the collection of automorphisms from A to F. Okay? So this is it. Okay. So this is the automorphisms. Now let me raise this. <coughs> so basic question is, if I ask, what is the odd of this? Let me ask about this. Odd of this. We already know that C is an extension of R, right? C is an extension of R, right? Uh, so if you consider the degree of uh, extension is 2 so I am asking what is the out of C of R you can easily find that this is one is identity map and another is you can say it like let me write 5 what is the 5 does is 5 from C to C which uh, take the conjugation so 5 is equal to Z bar okay? so this is Z belongs to C so these are the only two automorphisms I have from C to C which fixes your the field R. Jagi R ko fix kar. So this is the collection of odd C to R. So this is called automorphisms. So this is the collection of automorphisms from E to E and which is identity on F. So here F curl is played by R and E, the extension of R is C. We know that, right? C is an extension of, F, uh, of R, right? Group theory uh, actors is an extension of R. What is the dimension? Dimension uh, is 2, right? So this is a finite extension. So this is what we do. Now, our aim is, our aim is, if somebody will ask, how many subfields are there between C and R? That's a non trivial question. You have to answer it. So these things we have to answer. Now, we have to define Galois theory. What do you mean by gamma of, uh, of an extension? How one can define that? So wait for it. In the next video, I'll upload it so that uh, you will get the feel what I want to say exactly, right? So for my request for you is now just you should go and revise the field extension. So let me give some exercises for you. So first of all, first you should do uh, so this exercise I will give you first find what is the odd of f over f okay so this what is the odd of q root 2 over q right third then what is the odd of q right root 3 over q this this right and then four you should also write what is the odd of q root 3 and then Omega, uh, uh, omega over this uh, Q where uh, omega Q is equal to 1, omega is not equal to 1. So what is this? So I will give exercises, please find that in the next video. I will answer this question also and I will start what do you mean by Galois, Galois group. So next class I will start Galois group. So before that studying this, we should revise what do you mean by field extension okay? and all that you should know this you know see I can't do everything you have to do certain things right so my goal is to give you basic ideas you should do this first then I'll ask this thing then I'll start in the next video wait for it I'll do it okay otherwise this video will become too much longer right I hope you understand what I want to say so do this so it's a good exercise you will get if if you know fine then you should study uh, uh, the next chapter otherwise you should first do this I have given the enough definition what do you mean by this do this so for that you have to first prove this is an extension of this then apply q root 3 say q root 3 which is identity on q how does that move map looks you have to find that so you have to answer this kind of question and all okay so thank you for watching this I will uh, make sure in next video upload uh, start this uh, Galba theory and till then I request you to solve all these exercises and please revise the basic steps and um, keep working keep working that's important and in the right direction and 
वर्क हार्ड फॉर इट एंड थिंक अबाउट इट ठीक है तो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियोज इफ सो फार यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट माई लाइक माई फेसबुक पेज एंड फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन यू शूड विजिट माई वेबसाइट सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियोज थैंक यू सो मच